Hi folks, uh, this is the program to find LCM without using GCD. We have already a video on LCM which will use GCD in it but in this we are not going to use GCD instead of that we are going to use if condition. So how to do LCM will be knowing it right. So for example LCM of 4 and 8. So what is LCM? It is a least common multiples is 4 and 8. So what are the multiples of 4? 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 right. And in the same way, what are the multiples of 8? 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So in between, we need to find what are the common multiples. So 8 is a common multiple, 16 is common multiple, 24 is common multiple, 32 is common multiple. In this, what is the least common multiple we have? That is 8. So 8 is the LCM of 4 and 8. So what we are doing here is, we were, we were, whenever we are going to take two numbers, in that we are finding the highest number. Why? What is the purpose of finding the highest number is, see here, 4 and 8 right so in this we are starting from 8 only because before that are not multiples of this 8 so take the highest value so and then uh, we start uh, checking the LCM so for example 8 we are taking we are saying that a 4 and 8 is 8 is the highest so first we will check with the 8 okay so uh, whether 8 is multiple by 4 or not we have to check if it is true okay and again we need to check whether 8 is is, is division divided by 8 or not we have to check so 8 divided by 8 yes it is true so when both are true then we say that it is the lcm and that will be the least common one so we'll take another example also 18 and 24 here in this 18 and 24 first we need to check what is the highest number that is 24 so 24 will now take that highest number and we'll check whether it is divisible by 18 and 24 or not so 24 is divisible by 18 no it is not divisible 24 is divisible by 24 yes it is divisible so but what we need we need a common one one is one is divisible next one is not divisible so we have we need what a common one so we need to we need to go for next number so next is what 25 so whether 25 is divisible by 18 no 25 is divisible by 24 no then we need to go for 26 26 is divisible by 18 no 28 is divisible by 24 no so in this way we need to move like that at at one point it will come to the 36 we will check 36 is divisible by 18 yes 36 is divisible by 24 no so we need what we need both as common so that is also not divisible at a particular point it will come to 48 where 48 is divisible by 24 but 48 is not divisible by 18 so at a point it comes to 54 54 is divisible by 18 but 54 is not divisible by 24 so it again we go for at a point where we get a 72 so 72 is divisible by 18 yes 72 is divisible by 24 yes so both are yes then this becomes your common multiples when you see here what is the common least common multiple of uh, 18 and 24 that is 72 so what we are doing here is after finding the highest value we are checking a condition whether that part, uh, that particular number is divisible by both numbers or not if it is divisible by both then that becomes your lcm if it is not we are incrementing after incrementing again we are checking the condition same like whether the incremented value is divisible by or not, divisible by 18 and 24 or not I mean to the numbers or not if it is then that will be your least multiple least common multiple or else uh, we will go for another incrementation so in this way we have to write that means what we need here we need an if condition which checks these two two things one is divisible by or not and we need before going for if we need what it has to be repeated how many times it has to be repeated do you know how many times no so for that reason we go for a while loop and in which we say that while of one that means until it is means it is true it is an infinite loop in which we will write a break statement where we find the highest value so this is the program so we are taking n1 and n2 values here multiple printf enter n1 and n2 values so we are take, I'm taking another variable called multiple where I'm going for a ternary operator here. Whatever the highest value it is taking, I'm storing it in multiple. So while of one, that is, it is true till the while of one means it is always true. So we are going to compare this, whether this multiple is divisible by n1 or not. If it is true and also we are checking that multiple is divisible by n2 or not. If it is true, if both are true, then that becomes your LCM. If it is not true, it will not enter into the if, it will go to the multiple plus plus. That means it will increment. After incrementing, it will go to while of 1. While of 1 is true or false? True. So again, it will go and check either multiple. So incremented value percentile n1 equal to equal to 0. So in this way, it will check. So this is the program for LCM using if. So this is the program which we want to execute it the same program which we have written so i'm going to execute so once it is executed it is asking what enter n1 and n2 values values what you have took first 4 and 8 right so what will be the answer 
C here, 8 is the LCM. So we will take another example also which we took in our uh, PPT. We took 89, 24 as numbers and 72 is the LCM. So that is what we find. Thank you.